Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Nerd Bench. There are five new products that have just been announced today. I'm going to briefly go over all of these because it's far too much to cover. These are all pre-production prototypes that I got a while back for basic checks, once-overs, and this particular video so we can show them to you all firsthand. These, these are all, all going to be available for pre-order, I think, right now, and they should start shipping within the next couple weeks. So uh, typically, when we do the announcement, they start shipping a couple weeks later. That's been the trend for Hobbywing for the last couple years now, and I have been very excited about that. Let's get into it. We have two new motors in the Quick Run series, a 4268, a 4274. The 4268 is a 2600 kV, and the 4274 is a 2000 kV. These are for like A-scale buggy stuff like that. And with that, they get a new Quick Run A-scale size speed control, comes set up for the dual battery packs. We have a new motor in the Bandit series, got the G4 treatment, and we have the much anticipated, long-awaited 5690 motor that uh, lots of folks have been kind of hoping we would come along with for a better fitment to the vehicles that are out there. So let's get into it. We'll we are going to start first and foremost with the biggest one on the motor so we can get out of the way. This is a 5690 motor. It is rated for 3S to 8S LiPo. It has six millimeter plugs on the end of it and it does have the Hobbywing G2 style Max Series waterproof sensor harnesses. So this will work with a Max 5. Technically it will work with Max 4. They're may be a max 6 g2 coming along i mean it only makes sense the, the whole max series has been getting this g2 update that gets new motors that are waterproofed and censored with the waterproof sensor harness so if you didn't know hobbywing motors sizes are the number of the motor 56 90 is the aspect ratio 56 millimeter diameter by a 90 millimeter length and all of our motors have these nice fin designs on them so that if you do need some additional cooling for the most part all you need to do is get some airflow across the motor. You don't necessarily have to have a heat sink because it's not gonna do a lot of good because the motor's already kind of heat sink. So you can mount a fan next to your motor and away you go. Uh, but this guy is rated at 1250 kV. It has an eight millimeter output shaft. And we get asked all the time what size bearings are. We use big burly bearings now. The front bearing is a 22 by eight millimeter. They're seven millimeter thickness, but 22 OD, eight millimeter ID, and then the thickness is gonna be seven, and the rear bearing is a 19 OD, uh, eight millimeter shaft size, or OD, ID rather, and then the uh, thickness of it is a six millimeter wide bearing. I, I always get asked what the thickness of the bearing spec is, and for the most part, the ID and the OD are going to dictate the size of the thickness. They don't really have a lot of control over that until you get into custom bearings, and the RC world doesn't use a whole lot of custom bearings. But that is the quick and the dirty on the soon to be out 5690 motor. So next up is the Bandit. This is a 3650 size motor. And this is what would you consider a normal 540 motor. The XC Run V10 series got the G4 update. And the big difference in a G4 motor over the previous generations is the stator is now full diameter. Previously, we had to run a sleeve over the stator, or you had a maximum diameter was like kind of the end bell, but now they've changed things a little bit that we can make the stators as big as the end bell. And what that means is you get more steel in your stator and it makes for a much better performing motor. Now the Bandit series, as the name implies, is kind of for like no rules style racing. If your club race track doesn't do motor inspections or they're not worried about the sanctioning body's rules, that's what these motors are for. They are not built to the sanctioning body specs and they have Way more torque, way more power in the same size package. We do these in a 13.5 and a 17.5 turn for those kind of no rules style spec racing. But all of the awesome features that you would come to expect from one of these adjustable end belt timing, dual sensor port, there's a sensor port on the back and a sensor port on the top, heavy duty solder tabs, and of course the very, very nice fit and finish of all Hobbywing motors. I, I'm obviously, I'm a little biased. Sticking with the motor theme, the Quick Run series has kind of morphed towards what the Max series used to be. We had lots of great Max motors that were super cost effective, and when the Max series got that waterproof censored update, the prices kind of went up a touch, maybe not much, but the Quick Run series still is your answer for cost effective 
awesome performing motors and speed controls from the Hobby Wing series. And we carry that on with these great budget minded A scale style systems, or maybe you got uh, a 10 scale vehicle that you want to wedge an A scale motor into. Th these are going to be what you're looking at. Um, for waterproofed, sensorless, of course, again, the motor sizes are, the motor number is the sizes 42 millimeter diameter, 68 millimeter length, 42 millimeter diameter, 74 millimeter length. This guy comes in a 2600 kV that is rated for 4S and the 4274 at the 2000 kV is rated for up to 6S. These guys have five millimeter shafts on them and they are four pole motors, of course. I would say that it is fairly safe to say these are gonna be released in combos with the motor or with the speed control that I'm about to show you, but don't quote me, I could be wrong. Oh. What size are the battery plugs? We always we always got to do the battery plugs. These are six six or six and a half, depending on what you call them, because these are spring loaded. They measure out a little bit bigger. So those are going to be the new Quick Run motors. Come and on. finally, the Quick Run WP8 BL150 G2. Like many of the Quick Run series speed controls, getting that G2 update and. You get all the same goodness that you're used to, but an even more cost-effective price package. As the name implies, WP means it is waterproof. These are sensorless setups. It is rated for 3 to 6S LiPo. The speed control is 150 amp base rating, 96 amp surge. If you've listened to any of my shows when I talk about amp ratings, I hate amp ratings on speed controls because they don't mean a whole lot. If you were to put the power through that a lot of these specifications indicate it's, it's not a real thing. Um, so in the car world, the amps are more made to compare between various types of the same series of speed controls, or at least from the same brand to give you an idea what's going on. Uh, BEC in this guy is a switching BEC uh, rated at six or 7.4 volts. It is adjustable and it is a six amp regulator that we use in there. Comes with 10 gauge wire pre-installed, 6.5 millimeter bullet plugs like we mentioned. It does have the super sweet billion cycle on off switch that is completely sealed. It does work with the LED programming box and this is the first of the quick run series that will also work with the LCD programming box. So that is good to know. There is a, if you ever go to do tuning on these, just so you know, there's a programming port on the top. It goes where the fan goes. And the most important thing on any of these guys, everybody loves to see how big the speed controls are. So we go uh, the width, 48 millimeters on the width. The height is going to be about 40 and a half and the length is going to be just about 59 and some change, maybe 60. We'll switch it over to standard. You get 2.35 on the length. Width is going to be 1.89 ish and the height is going to be inch 0.6 give or take. The last time that I got pre-production speed controls that had the XT90s, the production models did as well, but don't quote me, we'll have more information on it. So that is a very quick look at these new systems that were just released today, fresh off the presses, if you will. Uh, again, a link in the description down below to get you all that hard information. Now, I know we didn't get too in depth into any of these items, but we will. I'm gonna get official production models, we're gonna do an unboxing on those and run them in vehicles and all that fun stuff. But this is a, just a quick look and something that we do with all of the pre-releases so that we can get some information out to you guys right away uh, but there will be more information on each of these they're all going to get their own dedicated video running in cars all that fun stuff I promise if you do have any questions comments concerns anything about these products other products customer service tech support whatever the case may be you can reach out to us directly north america at hobbywing.com don't forget we have a podcast. It is called RC Stuff, powered by Hobby Wing. You can find it on your pa favorite podcast service. Just look up RC Stuff. Each and every episode, we give away a free Hobby Wing system. All you have to do to enter to win is listen to an episode. And as always, folks, thanks for tuning in. Another episode of The Charlie Show right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time. I do want to apologize. I know I talk super fast here, but to cover the basics on five items pretty quick here, I got excited. This is pretty cool for me, and I went real fast. So pro tip in the lower right-hand corner, you can actually uh, slow down the playback speed of a YouTube video. So you need to catch what I'm saying. Maybe I went too fast. So.